we're just getting started. We're dumbfounded. We don't get it. Lost. New tonight at 10 and only on Denver 7. We're hearing from the man who hosted Chris Watts and his little girls for a party just days before the girls vanished. He would reach out and help anybody that needed help with anything. A new perspective on who Chris Watts was before his alleged confession that he murdered his wife and daughters. You know, the hardest part about it all is when you're closer with the family, it's the why. Our team coverage continues tonight, tracking every new development in this case as more and more questions emerge, especially from those closest to the now accused killer. He stayed the night at our house across the hall from our five year old. That'll help me. Denver 7 starts right now. And we'll get to that emotional reaction in just a minute. But first, breaking new horrific details emerging in just the past 30 minutes as to where the little girl's bodies were found. Let's get straight to Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski live in our newsroom. Jen, you just got word from several high-ranking sources. I have to say it keeps getting more disturbing. Teresa and Tom, it does. Now, we first learned this from a well-placed source early in the day. But in calling several other sources close to the investigation, nobody wanted to touch this. Our second source came in with, within just the last hour. Here's what we've confirmed. The two young girls' bodies, three-year-old Cece and four-year-old Bella, were found inside an oil and gas tank owned by Anna Darko. That's where the husband worked up until recently. Now, sources tell us that the oil tanks were mostly full and say the motive was likely twofold, hide the bodies and disguise the scent. Tom and Teresa. Just terrific. Hard Thank to you, hear. Jen. 